Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the conditions for interference. In last class, we learned about what is meant by interference. Interference is the uh, redistribution of energy. Right? So, uh, when two or more, two waves are superposing each other, the energy will be redistributing in such a way at one point we will be getting maximum and then dark then maximum brightness then dark alternate dark and bright fringes we will be observing so that phenomenon is called as interference now we are going to consider what are the conditions of interference here when we are learning about the interference pattern i told you alternate dark and bright fringes so in that bright fringes are formed due to the constructive interference constructive interference due to the constructive interference bright fringes are forming and dark fringes are due to the destructive interference destructive interference dark fringes forming and bright fringes are forming because of the constructive interference okay so two crust and crust are joining together you two trough and trough are joining together constructive interference one crust and one trough is joining then it will become destructive interference okay so this is what are the conditions so path the difference we should consider there right so from the slit from the two slits if I am considering from here, these are the two coherent sources of light which we are, which it is coming, and it is. Uh, I am considering a, this is a, this is the screen. I am considering a point P over here. What is the path difference between these two waves? See, if I am dropping one perpendicular like this, this will be the path difference, right? How? So this path difference should be equal to what will be the value of that path difference okay so at which and all points we will be getting the uh, constructive interference which and all points we will be getting the destructive interference so if the path difference is equal to s1 p s2 p if i am considering like that if s1 p minus s2 p that is equal to or s2 p minus s1 p that is equal to n lambda or you can say we we'll just simply take the difference okay we are not uh, taking uh, telling that you should consider from this to that one it's not like that you can take the difference also s2 p s1 p difference s2 p that is equal to n lambda if the path difference is equal to n n lambda where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc then we can say it is the constructive interference it is the one of the conditions for constructive interference and in the case of destructive interference s2 p minus s1 p that is equal to n plus half into lambda this is for destructive interference so constructive interference destructive interference constructive means bright fringes destructive means dark fringes okay so we learned last class i told you about the int uh, this intensity of the uh, superposed wave right in that first we discussed about the amplitude r is equal to root of a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos phi right in that intensity we wrote it as i1 plus i2 plus 2 root i1 i2 cos phi so this was the uh, value right so if uh, we need to get a maximum value maximum value means cos phi should be equal to uh, that is cos phi should be equal to 1 that is maximum value when we will be getting cos phi maximum so uh, amplitude of the superposed wave is maximum when we will be getting cos phi as 1 cos phi as 1 that is phi value will be equal to what which and all values we will be getting cos phi as 1 so 0 360 or we can write it as 2 pi right then we can write it as 4 pi so 6 pi these conditions we will be getting the maximum brightness okay so one of the condition is path difference is equal to n lambda or we can write phase difference should be equal to 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, etc. Or simply we can say it as 2n pi. Right? 
0 if I am giving n is equal to 0. So it will be 5 is equal to 0. If I am getting 1 value then 2 pi, 2 value, 4 pi, 3 value, 6 pi like that we will be getting. So these are the two conditions for constructive interference. Path difference should be equal to n lambda. Phase difference should be equal to uh, 2n pi. Okay, phi is equal to 0 means it is no phase difference at all. So, maximum brightness we will be getting under these two conditions. Clear? So, next we are moving to the destructive interference part. Okay, so uh, constructive interference, consider these two conditions. Okay, n lambda is the path difference and 2n pi is the path, uh, this uh, phase difference. For destructive interference, that is we will be getting dark fringe. To which and all cases we will be getting this dark fringe. See, path difference is equal to n plus half into lambda where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Then here in the case of intensity when we will be getting the minimum brightness okay minimum value when it will be getting when phi value is minimum what is the minimum value phi value uh, this, or minimum cos phi value it's minus 1 so r is we will be getting it as a minus b right a plus b the holds a plus a square plus b square minus 2ab we will get so a minus b the whole square under root it will be getting it as a minus b so the uh, intensity will be minimum when cos phi equals minus 1 cos phi equals minus 1 so which in all cases cos phi will be equal to minus 1 when phi is equal to pi 3 pi so missing numbers from here that and all will be coming for the coming under this uh, destructive interference or we can write it as phi is equal to n plus half into pi 2 pi n plus half into 2 pi let's see when n is equal to 0 it will be pi n is equal to 1 3 by 2 into 2 pi that is 3 pi so n plus half into 2 pi this is the condition for destructive interference so remember all these things and main thing is in interference after interference we will be getting always a bright fringe at the center center will be a bright fringe and the sides we will be getting alternate dark and bright fringes that is redistribution of energy so here we will be learning about the young's double slit experiment also so first we will do some numericals based on these things and afterwards we will move to that okay so first question in an experiment the intensity of light at a point on the screen where the path differences lambda is k units find the intensities at a point where the path differences lambda by 4 lambda by 3 and lambda by 2 so in an experiment the intensity of light at a point on the screen where the path difference is lambda is k. So I for the path difference for path difference is lambda is k. Intensity of light if the rays of uh, have, have a, rays of lights are having a path difference of lambda then intensity is given as K. We need to find out what will be the intensities when it is lambda by 4, lambda by 3 and lambda by 2. So we know only this much. The, we know the value of i. i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus uh, 2 root i1 i2 cos phi. This is the condition. Path difference is lambda. That means it is a under, coming under constructive interference right n lambda path for constructive interference conditions we uh, know it is path difference is equal to uh, path difference s2p minus s1p that is equal to n lambda or phase difference we wrote it as it is 2n pi right phase difference is equal to 2n pi here we need to find a see since it is interference is happening we are considering it as same values i0 i am considering 2 into i0 cos 5 maximum interference so i am taking it as 1 okay cos 0 1 so i is equal to so intensity we here we got it as k so k equals 
2i0 plus 2i0 here we will get it as 4i0 therefore i0 equals k by 4 here for the first case lambda by 4 see path difference is equal to lambda by 4 therefore we can write n lambda equals lambda by 4 so what is n n we got it as 1 by 4 now we can find out the phase difference as phase difference equals 2n pi equals 2 into 1 by 4 into pi we will get it as pi by 2 so what will be the intensity at that time i is equal to 2i0 plus 2i0 into cos 90 cos 90 0 so we will get it as 2i0 what is i0 4 i I0 is k by 4. So we will be getting it as 2k by 4. The answer is k by. So this is how we will be finding out the intensity. Same way for lambda by 3. How we can find out? Yeah, just change this. n lambda equals lambda by 3. So what is n equals 1 by 3? We will be getting 2 pi by 3. And here we have, you can find out the value of intensity. So in the case of these, if about intensity they are not mentioning anything, you can take the same intensity for both the lights. That will be the, uh, 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 this, this is how we are doing it over here. This is the case, this experiment is done with the help of Young's double slit experiments that we are going to study the next thing. Okay, so how we are finding out, got it? Next question is, the if two slits in Young's experiment have width in the ratio 1 is to 4. Width is given 1 is to 4. Deduce the ratio of intensities at maxima and minima in the interference pattern. Width ratio is given. With last class we told W1 by W2 equals I1 by I2 or we can write it as A square by B square. Right? So square of the intensities, a square of the amplitudes. That is given as 1 by 4. So deduce the ratio of intensities at maximum and minimum positions, maxima and minima of the, at the interference pattern. So here we will be getting A, equal, A by B equals 1 by 2. So A uh, equals uh, B by 2. Maxima and minima position. So I maxima divided by I minima. That is A plus B divided by A minus B. Therefore A uh, a is b by 2 b by 2 plus b divided by b by 2 minus b here we will be getting it as uh, 3b by 2 divided by b by 2 so here uh, intensity right so we should take the square also here we should take the square in all the cases b and b will get cancelled 2 2 will be getting cancelled 3 square divided by 1 that is 9 is to 1 clear so the next question is the ratio of intensities of minima to maxima in Young's double slit experiment is uh, there's 9 is to 25. Find the ratio of width of two slits. Okay. So ratio of intensities I max divided by I minimum is given. I max divided by I minimum is given as 9 by 25. Find the ratio of width of the slits. So Width of the slits means uh, you should find W1 by W2. I, A plus B the whole square divided by A minus B the whole square that is equal to 9 by 25. You can find it as A plus B divided by A minus B equals 3 by 5. Now from this you can find out you will be getting one equation here. Now we should find out the width of the slit W1 by W2 that is a square by B square. So from this value you can find out the value of A and B. How it is related. Okay A. Uh, so here 5A. 5A plus 5B equals 3A minus 3B. Or we can write it as 2A equals. Uh, what is that? 2B. 5 minus 3. 2A uh, minus 3 minus 5. Sorry 8. 8b you are getting. So here a will be equal to minus 4b. Substituting these values you will be getting the value of a and b. Okay 16 by so a is you a you got it as minus 4b 16b square divided by b square you will be getting the answer as 16 is to 1. 
okay clear so these are some of the questions that you should uh, uh, see uh, especially that constructive interference destructive interference questions and all will be coming under young's double slit experiment that is uh, fringe width all those uh, questions are important only but uh, this formulas if you are thorough then will be easy for you to identify understand the next question okay so in next class we will be uh, doing with the young's double slit experiment i hope it is useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye